Good evening. Amy here with Whistle Thicket Farmstead. I'm continuing my video series on natural horsekeeping methods, and today we are talking about slow feed hay. Um, I think it's first important to understand why we want to slow down our horses um, as they eat hay, and the reason for that is that um, on average, your typical horse produces 16 gallons of acidic gastric juice a day. That is equivalent to three of these five gallon buckets. It's enough to fill the tank of your average size car or fill half of an average size bathtub. That's a lot. But if you think about it, in the wild, horses are grazing animals. They munch on grass for 18 hours a day. So they need all that gastric juice in their bellies to break down the grass so they can um, digest it. But domestic horses, you know, typically they fall into feeding um, regimes that are based on human convenience, which means they get fed twice a day, morning and afternoon, and they're really not designed to eat a huge amount of food at one sitting. They are grazers. That means they are designed to eat little bits of food throughout the entire day. So I'm going to show you how we're going to help supply our horses with hay um, all day and to kind of help prevent um, the stomach ulcers that can be caused with all this acid in their tummies um, and not having anything to digest. That's what ulcers come from and it can cause, ulcers can cause a lot of training issues, behavioral issues, they're painful. Um, so we want to prevent them. So here we are in our um, the run-in shed. This is where the horses come in to get out of the weather or enjoy some shade. This is also where I'm going to be putting our new round bale. That way the round bale is protected from moisture and will last longer because it's not going to get uh, damp and moldy, which is not good for the horses. Um, and the only thing you really need to do to make turn a regular round bale into a slow feed round bale is apply one of these ginormous um, round bale nets. You can see there's mesh here. It's about two inches wide. So when this covers the round bale, the horses have to really work to kind of pull a little strand of hay through there and it really slows them down. Um, which is good for their tummies, for the reasons we discussed. It gives that gastric acid something to work on that's not the lining of their stomach. Um, and for you, it saves you money because this is going to last you a lot longer than if you just put it in the, the hay feeder without the net because they can gobble that up in probably less than a week. So. Like, this is like shoving a marshmallow into a fishnet. <laughs> I like marshmallows. <laughs> you just put this on here. The yellow string is your tie string that's going to cinch the whole thing up. You want to get that as close to the what will be the top of the bale when we flip this over into the, into the run-in. So what I'm trying to do is get this yellow string down towards the bottom of this. All right, so we have the round bale flipped up on its base. We have it covered in the net. The yellow cinch string is down at the bottom. And now we're ready to flip it off of the truck bed onto this um, tractor tire that I have just to keep the hay off the ground, to keep it dry. Um, last time I did this, by myself. We'll see if I can get it this time. Ready? You filming? Yeah. 